<laughs> Millions of thoughts run through your head daily. What, if, what am I going to wear? What will I eat? And what will I do? Sometimes these thoughts require more thought. This may require you to pay attention for long periods of time. Well, today, I'm going to talk about a disorder that may hinder these thoughts, ADHD. And I'm going to describe the basis of ADHD, the symptoms of ADHD, and if it is genetic. What is ADHD? Attention is also known as attention deficit disorder, mostly common as ADHD. It is a neurodevelopmental disorder, most commonly diagnosed in childhood. There are three defining behavioral features to ADHD, impulsivity, inattention, and hyperactivity. Impulsivity is a tendency to make decisions without accounting for possible consequences, including when the potential for injury or harm is present. Inattention is defined as a tendency to stay off, stray off task, give up on tasks too easily, or struggle to maintain focus for reasons other than disobedience or incompetence. Hyperactivity involves symptoms such as constant movement, excessive fidgeting, and excessive talking. These are all the things that are the basic understandings of ADHD. Symptoms of ADHD include diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders stated that symptoms are separated into two different categories. Symptoms of inattention and symptoms of hyperactivity and impulsivity are lack of attention to detail, difficult ma difficulty maintaining attention while carrying out tasks, difficulty following instructions or finishing assigned duties. Symptoms of hyperactivity and impulsivity include excessive fidgeting, squirming, or tapping. These symptoms may not always be present in women when our girls are, are less likely to show um, symptoms of ADHD. That's why the statistic is less in women. And then in boys, symptoms are very um, apparent. And that's why it's easier for boys to be diagnosed with ADHD. And many women do go um, unnoticed with ADHD until they are either in their teen years or in their woman years because they have to like figure it out for themselves. They don't find. Um, most doctors tend to not find what is wrong. And then, this um, visual just shows like what can go, what can go on. <coughs> they're all different directions, they're all different ways. They don't really have um, a constant direction of which way they're thinking. And many of the times they're, even when they're learning, they're thinking many different thoughts and many different things. Do genetics play a role in ADHD? Russell, Russell Barkley, a clinical professor of psychiatry and pediatrics at the Medical University of South Carolina stated, there are anywhere from 25 to 45 genes that are considered high candidate genes for ADHD. Neurotransmitters is governed Governing questions such as behaviors and emotions. Dopamine receptors in the genetic makeup may increase your chances of having ADHD. Low levels of dopamine can cause issues with your inattentiveness, mood, and motivation. Studies show a link of ADHD and dopamine transport proteins, which just basically means that um, there are many studies that show that dopamine the lack of dopamine um, can cause like mood altering and um, the lack of motivation and those are many sim symptoms of ADHD. So they do have a tie together with the dopamine and the ADHD. And then um, these are, this is just an ADHD sign that you can from children. Um, many of them have trouble getting along with others. A lot of them are very disorganized. Um, their thoughts, their rooms, just all together as a person. Um, they're excessive talking. Many of them, they can't stop, and they're very um, hyper when they do it. And then um, daydreaming is a big one. A lot of them have, obviously, the um, 
it's hard for them to pay attention. And difficulty sitting still is another thing. Um, forgetfulness, carelessness, and then risky behavior from that. Um, many people don't really look to, like when they're looking for ADHD, but that's actually a big one is the risky behavior because of their brain. They're not really um, thinking <coughs> they just act rather than thinking before they act, and that's a big one that many people um, forget to look for kids with ADHD. Altogether, um, ADHD is formed with three symptoms, impulsivity, inattention, and hyperactivity. And these three symptoms um, are all within these acts of 